حبيب الله يا رسول الله يا حبيب الله انس بن مالك رضي الله تعالى عنه he said كان اذا قحط استسقى بالعباس بن عبد المطلب فقال اللهم انا كنا نتوسل اليك بنبينا صلى الله عليه وسلم فتسقينا وانا نتوسل اليك بعم بنبينا فاسقينا فيسقو so he said when there was a drought after the departure of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam after leaving this world so we used to go the uncle of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam al abbas bin abd al mutalib radiyallahu ta'ala an and then you know we make dua o oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we used to give tawassul the wasila the intercession of our rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then we got rain now we give you tawassul of the uncle of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so grant us rain fastina fa yasku and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted rain this is in bukhari ibn asakar he narrated from the jahma in maka i uh, there was a drought time and the time when i went maka so qurayshi said okay go to inside the kaaba see our idols ask for from idols so then you will get rain because there were 360 idols in the in the kaaba so and then he met a man a man of knowledge he said okay go to abu talib that time rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was 8 to 10 years old So when he went to Abu Talib, so he said about uh, he said there is a drought, we we want rain. So Abu Talib, what he did? He took Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he put Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam back with the Kaaba and then made dua. Oh Allah, reveal the rain. So. So Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala granted rain. When according to some people when there was no prophethood. We don't say prophethood when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wasn't born even. Because prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Ana awwal ma khalaq Allah nuri. I was prophet when Adam alayhi salam was in between the water and dust. So I won't go in that detail. I already spoke uh, previous Juma. And then you know when Quraysh started torturing Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his youth, so Abu Talib reminded them by saying, "Wa biyada yustasbal ghamam bi wajhihi simal al jatama wa ismatun lil arabi." He said, "O oh, white face, whose intercession we got rain, and who's a protector of." and orphans and the widows so uh, abu talib reminded them no you you are using i mean humiliating my nephew whom you once asked for dua from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the tawassul of that boy sallallahu alaihi wasallam and very famous one sahabi in the time of juma he stood up prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was delivering the khutbah So ya Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam our livestock and sheep animals are dying no water please invoke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send rain so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam raised his hands and that day sahaba said in hadith there was clear sky no clouds nothing in a moment clouds came and then you know raining start the whole week there was there was raining so next juma the same guy he stood up 
Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, everything is drowning, everything is perished. Please make dua to your Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to stop this rain. Then Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made this dua, Oh Allah, only let fall the rain on the sides of the valley, not here. So that rain stop. This is, I'm talking about the mercy of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent him as a mercy for whole mankind. One sahabi, Bilal ibn al-Haris, radiyallahu ta'ala an, in the time of Umar, Umar radiyallahu ta'ala an. Now after the departure of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he went to the grave of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he made dua. The time of Umar radiallahu anhu. And he made dua. He said, I slept there. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came in my dream. And Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Go to Umar. Send my salam. And then tell him to take care, look after your uh, riyaya, your nation. Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send rain soon. So he said, I woke up. I went to Umar radiallahu ta'ala so when he mentioned Umar radiallahu ta'ala an, look Umar radiallahu an, he didn't say, oh, Sahabi Rasul, you, what you did it? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has left this world and you went to his cover? Qabr Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and you asked for dua? Umar radiallahu ta'ala an, who started crying, that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, oh, uh, tell Umar to take care of your riyaya. He started crying and then he said, he said, I have done my best for Riyaya, for the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So lastly, very quickly, Utbi, he mentioned this incident. After the, I'm telling you, after the death of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, a man came, a Bedouin came, and he said, he started praising Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Ya khayra man dufinat bil qaya azimuhu faqaba min tibi hinna al qa'u wal akamu nafsi fidaan li qabri anta sakinahu fihi al-afafu wa fihi al-judu wal karamu. Subhanallah. Learn from this Bedouin or Muslim, a Muslim of 20th century. He said, Ya khayra man dufinat. O oh, you the best who is blessed, blessed body is buried in this blessed land. And then he said, Fatwa min in al wal akamu. Due to the fragrance of your blessed body of blessed Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the surrounding sand, mountain have become a fragrant. Nafsi fida li qabri antasakinahu. My soul is sacrificed for the Mazulum you are in. Because Sahaba, when, whenever he used to talk Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they talk, Fidaka Abi wa anta ummi ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May my parents sacrifice upon you. Then they start talk. And the last he said, Fihi al-ifafu wa fihi al-judu wa al-karam. Allahu Akbar. In it, it is purity, generosity and compassion. Because Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was Kareem. Very famous when Hadar Rabia radiallahu ta'ala anhu who arranged the water for Prophet sallallahu served wuzu. One day Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sal ya Rabia tu'ta Allahu Akbar. This is Mukhtar Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Oh Rabia, ask for you will be granted whatever you want. What he said, as'aluka murafaqataka fil jannah ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I ask you I ask your company in Jannah. Subhanallah. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Afa Ghayra Zalik, ask for more. He did not ask for more. He did not want more. Only he wanted the company of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So make dua, may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala grant us the true love of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his companion and his household. وَمَا عَلَيْنَا إِلَّا الْبَلَاغُ الْمُبِينَ يا حبيب الله يا رسول الله يا حبيب
Oh